Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a story time with you guys about about how I've had experiences with becoming an ambassador for companies and my opinions on it. So here we go. So first of all, I have my ring light on and I just did a video on my skin. So if my face looks bad, that's why. Second of all, I had these rings I actually got. I had to pay for shipping for a company that wanted me to be, to be an ambassador. So I am an ambassador for Body Candy. So if you want to use my coupon code KaylaGanje25, it saves you money and it helps me out. Um, so thank you if you use that. But I was offered to be an ambassador for two companies and I agreed to these two. And I've had some weird experiences. I'm not going to say their names because, yeah. But I want to share my experience so if I can enlighten anyone on what the hell happened. I had a company tell me that they um, make bracelets. And I pay for the bracelets. But they didn't, they're like, oh, you can be an ambassador. You get exposure. You get this and that. But they didn't tell me if I was going to make money from it. And I was naive. And I really was invested in the cause. They were for supposed to help domestic violence, all the proceeds go to that. So I was naive and I said, let me hop on and grab me some bracelets. I got some, I thought they were cool, they weren't that cool, and <laughs> the company stopped talking to me and people were like, this company stole my money, this company just doesn't care, they never post my pictures, and I was like, well fuck, looks like I got scammed. And they stopped messaging me completely, and I was like, I already knew it was a scam at this point. So I was like, whatever. It's only like twenty something dollars, right? So here's the second story, and this story is more weird AF. So here we go. Um, a company messages me and tells me, I notice you wear a lot of jewelry, and I'm like, no, I don't. And I think about it because I wear chokers recently. I've been wearing them more, and my rings recently, these two, um, and my I forgot I had like piercings. I was like, oh yeah, I do wear jewelry. <laughs> I felt stupid. And so they're like, oh, so since you wear jewelry and stuff, we would really like to send you some stuff. You just pay for shipping and then twice a year you're going to be sent some stuff for free and you don't pay anything and your your um, your followers will be paying, they get up to 70% off of all of the jewelry we have. And I'm like, that sounds like a good deal. So, this story continues, so grab your blankets, grab something to drink, because it takes a second. <laughs> so then what ended up happening is I was like, okay, why not, let me just see if it's wor worth it. I said, I don't really trust it. They were like, you can trust it, you know, you can trust us, it's all secure. And I checked the website, and it was a secure payment, so I was like, alright. And then, <laughs> this is when it gets spicy. So then I'm waiting for this. By the way, I waited for these, um, these jewelries they call it but this jewelry I waited for over a month at this point um and I was like over it I was like okay I'm not getting it <laughs> and uh yeah it was only like 20 something dollars so I was like it sucks because it's still 20 bucks but it's whatever it's not like I paid the full price so I even have a coupon code <laughs> and then what ended up happening guys is <laughs> The, the company was like, God bless you, God bless you. And I'm like, okay. Like, I'm not trying to knock anyone who believes in, you know, God. But I'm just like, it's a little, that's, that's to me sounds inappropriate for a company to be saying that's someone they don't know. Because you never know, you know. <laughs> so they're like, God bless you, God bless you. And I was like, you too. Um, <clears throat> and the rings I ordered were supposed to be silver because all the jewelry I have is silver. I don't have gold anywhere. And these are like rose gold. So. <sighs> and I just washed my face. So my nose is a little runny. Anyways. So what ended up happening is I was like. Oh my gosh. I'm being scammed. <laughs> and then the people were like. They took one of my posts and made a post about me becoming their ambassador. And they're like. Welcome Kayla God, Jane 67 And I'm like. And nobody welcomed me obviously. <laughs> and um, it was just weird. And then all of a sudden, I told them, I said, hey, the necklace I got was broken. It broke. And I said, and the rings turned my finger green. They're pretty, so that's why I'm wearing them. But yeah, they turned my finger green. 
And I was like, WTF, you know? And then the lady's like, <clears throat> instantly replies, oh my goodness, message our customer service. I am so sorry. I'm like, all right. No. And then, this is where it gets weird, guys. <laughs> All of a sudden, I see someone post, welcome to the ambassador community, Taylor Gantry 67 and I'm like, that's weird. Um, and then, I, all of a sudden, I get, I had 60-something followers, like 61, 62. On Instagram, all of a sudden, I have 100 followers, and they're all of people in relation to that company, and they all had the same profile picture, and they all had the same bio, and it seemed like a bunch of spam accounts. It was so weird. <clears throat> my cat she wants to get the camera so it was so weird and then I look <clears throat> and then they're all like I'm getting tagged in non-stop stories welcome to our community Kayla welcome to our community welcome to our community like over seven posts of the same screenshot and I'm like what the fuck and then I went live on Instagram because it was a, it was a weird night last night so I was like I'll just go live so I went live on Instagram and then all of a sudden, this is one of those people, those people, one of the people I was talking about joined my live, like one of the original people that told me to become an ambassador, joined my live and watched me and then left. It was so weird. Like they watched and I saw the name and I was like, and then I was just like awkwardly trying not to say anything and then they left. And then, <laughs> then I got more messages about like, well, oh, okay. No, I just got hit in the face with a kick. My cat doesn't get the message. She's too affectionate. I love her, but <clears throat> I just washed my face. No, so then I'm like, here she comes. Oh. Where will you go? Okay. That was Avatar, guys. Oh my god. Gwen, go! Please! Okay. So let me finish this video. She's looking me right in the eyes. So. It was crazy, and then I kept getting messages like, welcome to our community, welcome to this, and I'm like, did I just join a cult or something? Like, it was so weird, and I just, like, got freaked out, and I was like, ah! And, like, all these people were, like, sharing my picture, and the thing is that I had pictures of me with the rings on and stuff, but they were sharing just the first picture, like, a screenshot of someone's screenshot of my post, and it was just so bizarre. I was like, what the heck? <clears throat> I was like, oh no, oh no. And so I made a joke. I was like, if I go missing, they took me. <laughs> All of a sudden, you guys will go to my Instagram and I'll have that profile picture and bio. And we'll say, what the heck? So I wanted to do a quick little challenge with you guys that I saw someone do. And it's you have to draw a self portrait of yourself in 60 seconds. So in like a minute or just a quick one. So I need to start it when it hits exactly nine minutes because this is telling me how long I've taken. I'm gonna borrow my sister's notebook. Um, <clears throat> honestly, guys, these eyelashes have given me my cat's coming back. Gwen, just sit, please. Those are her whiskers right there. <laughs> okay, I need to get ready. When it, it hits nine minutes, I'm gonna draw a self-portrait of myself super fast. I have a sharpened pencil and everything. But yeah, uh, I've been having some that body dysmorphia recently and I'm trying to beat it. So hopefully soon I'll be going to therapy and I start now. Because you know, there's nothing wrong with going to therapy, guys. And I want to I wanna normalize that. There's nothing wrong with wanting to talk to someone, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. And I wish people would... would normalize it a little bit right now I have some huge eyelashes so I'm just going to give myself some too and it's funny because my eyebrows are so thin because that was like a huge trend I was seeing recently and now like I have these huge eyelashes and it makes it look like I uh well right now I am wearing a scarf so I'm going to just make myself wearing one in here too and then my ears and Okay, here is the finished picture. Boom. I forgot my eyebrow piercing. Eyebrows. Boom. Anyway.
anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. If you liked this video, click the like, subscribe, and the bell icon. And if you want to see more of these videos, let me know. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay beautiful. And make sure you guys know what companies you're getting yourself into because you don't want to get scammed. You don't want people being creepy. You don't know. Someone could be catfishing you. This could be all just a big joke in your expense. You never know. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.